I'll stay there, boy. Yeah, boy. It's an interesting way of putting it. Bastard. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. Hey, you don't belong here. Called himself one. Very true. You better get case, gone now. But I know how to Look, get things done efficiently. Look at me. Why would I lie about this? This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen. He's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that. And then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Oh, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. 
He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. What's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. How he used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house? Probably just sweet on her. That what you call finding out a little? Once he opens up, seems Seamus does like to talk. Hopefully not too much. up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. We can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's wait. Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet.
Get on, dear boy. Come on. Get on and let's head back. Everything we needed. And I'm pretty sure they never even knew I was there. Come on, let's get this thing moving. Best way. Less problems the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece, and it's a good night's work. So what were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. Nothing too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. Yeah, exactly. How long do you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Even if we had to dump the money from the ferry, we could have at least got the rest out if it was hidden someplace else. No, I think we've learned our lesson there. And a few other lessons besides. I hope so, but I ain't so sure about that. So, here's something strange. Seamus was telling me how he also makes these little trinkets for people from animal claws, teeth, and the such like. Good luck charms. What, like a rabbit's foot? I suppose, but he was claiming they really do work. Don't they all? Oh, ye of little faith. into the barn there. Get us moving, Arthur. <laughs> Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Park that thing in here, quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming?
Sure. There, boy. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Steer. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Steer. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out, and then all hands to see. What's got at sea, we spend on shore, and feed our and our wine. What's got at sea, we spend on shore, and feed So, we found the old Driscoll's hideout, but no sign of comb. Well, so long as we're hitting them before they hit us. Oh, and that kid? He's all right now. Think about and let us merry be. Our can is full. Let's take it out. Trouble with some really bad men I meet. They force me to marry a woman so they can steal all my money. But then Dutch finds me, very much at my wit's end. And you boys know the rest of that story. Now I'm a ship's cook for a camp with no ship. <laughs> <laughs> With no ship. <laughs> but I miss the sea. I do. It calms you somehow.
on that stuff, Bill. Look who's still here. <laughs> you holding up? I can't complain. Glad to hear. You'll be fine. You'll work it out, Dutch. You always do. Good morning, Arthur. Morning, Arthur. Hey, so that feller who was hassling you in Valentine. I'll tell you another time, okay? Okay, sure. Hey, Abigail. Good morning. Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. Let's get you cleaned up.
You can't turn me in. This ain't just. Keep your distance. Got a criminal here. Could you get me off this damn nag? Please don't leave me on here. Come on, man, cut the ropes off. Please, friend, untie me quick. Enjoy the peace and quiet. I can't take these ropes no longer. Come on. I sure owe you one. If I'm gonna be hanged, at least let it be for a crime I committed. I hear the general store owner in Strawberries got a nice little moonshine operation running beneath his shop. Could do you good to check it out. Okay, boy. Here. Oh, sweet Jesus, don't kill me! yourself I won't tell a soul you're fine I'm fine happy to be done with it What 
the hell? Damn you to hell! You're all right, boy. Yeah, good boy.
the three. Yes, but the lighting. Hmm. Oh dear, I don't have it. Morning. Oh. <sighs> Hello. <sighs> Quite the day, isn't it? Sure. What? Our country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that bit. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Or that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture of a grumpy housefrau or pompous middle-class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just... There. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I am trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes, not the easiest. But, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh, good heavens. My bag, that thing is robbing me. Go, oh, good heavens. Don't worry. That thing is a coyote. Sneaky one, too. Wildlife photographer. This is what I'd call a robbery gone wrong, Coyote. your bag. Oh, good, good. Please come here. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Bag full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population. You are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm, thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm, uh, you take care, sir. <laughs> I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. I realize I am a fool. <laughs> Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. Thank you. 
Here I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Can't think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Well, after you. What possessed me to come out here, I'll never know. <laughs> None of this is familiar to me, but it all looks the same, so... What are you doing out here, anyway? It clearly ain't your natural habitat. I don't uh, know. I'm just visiting. I, I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all, I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack and I'll show you Broadway. Meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard. A little bespoke woodwork, and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here, after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no, no offense. Little taken. Yes, this does look familiar. to town <laughs> Sir, you've rescued me from the depth you seem quite the resourceful sort sir if for some reason you plan to spend any time in strawberry you may want to look into that gabbing mayor something is definitely off with him. All right. Well, keep that in mind. I never thought I'd be so happy to see this pulp heap. I won't complain about New York again, let me tell you. Maybe stay in town for now, huh? A rock and a hard place. Thanks anyway. 